Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this session, how to day trade any futures, Forex or even stock market using my strategies. Now in today's video, I'm going to be giving a summary of four winning trades, uh, once again on the micro NQ. However, this is, uh, you apply the same techniques and strategies to any market. So this was actually taken from a training session uh, from my live trading room with my members. And so at times you'll see me execute these on the big contracts, on the ESNQ or CL, or on the micros. But there's a couple of things I want to say as we get into this. Uh, so I can set the scene, which is very, very important, but a couple of things we've got to get out of the way. Of course, our disclaimer, there is a risk in trading. Don't trade with the rent money <laughs> unless you're consistently profitable. Most importantly, feel free to pause the video to read the disclaimer. Now, if you haven't already uh, requested my free training manual, please um, click on the link below and you'll be able to get hold of that. And even better still traders, subscribe to my channel. So you'll be able to be kept up to date with all of my latest YouTube videos. Now, even better still, become a member of the Day Traders Fast Track program. Traders, this is a bold statement, but this truly is the world's most comprehensive program for $197. I've got over 10,000 members now, over 200 traders uh, in my live trading room, and hundreds each week attend my coaching sessions. And I do that for a reason, because what I have is the best of the best. I've been doing this for 27 years. All of my indicators are free and included. Uh, there's uh, literally dozens upon dozens of videos of live trading, training, explanation uh, on head stuff, on trading, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, and I've also got a, and I'll, this will be over in a moment, by the way, this little self plug, but I've also got a special going where you can attend eight of my live two hour coaching sessions uh, over four weeks. If you can't attend live, you're at 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. every uh, Tuesday and Wednesday evening, you can watch the recordings anyway. So they are recorded. And in those sessions, I go over step by step all of our key setups. And if you decide to stay on after the first month, it's only $97 a month, cancel at any time. So you get all of this uh, for $197. That's the end of the advertisement. Let's now get into this. Now, when you watch the recording, so I've had my staff just cut out the, the main points because it's from a three hour trading session. But over a couple of hours, you'll see there that um, we had, I think we had five winning trades out of five, if I remember correctly. But uh, in there, we show four, I think, what was there one? We, I think we got out with only half profit rather than the full profit. So I show the four full profits. So there were no losses in this particular session. But what I want to get across traders is this. As Mark Douglas says, to become an expert, uh, what you want to do is focus on one particular pattern that repeats itself. This ain't rocket science, traders, it really isn't. And once you clearly understand how to trade these strategies, they're, they're all pattern based. Uh, they're geometric patterns that we see appear in the market every day and exactly what Mark Douglas highlights. So uh, in the session, I'll mainly be talking about 34Bs and 2Bs, which is sort of two brother and sister trades. They work hand in hand. But as you'll see, there's dozens of other potential trade setups as well. So what you see is only really a tip of the iceberg uh, in my coaching sessions, or I should say in these recorded sessions is the best way of putting in the live sessions. Uh, I teach you how to trade divergence trades, change of trend, plenty of other setups. However, if you're brand new to trading, you start off trading with a trend and a maximum of two setups. So let me quickly set the scene for you. If you're trading a $4,000 account, we never ever break our risk rule of 2%. Traders, if you're serious about building a career, you've got, there's only really one way to, to master the art of day trading. That's the right way the first time. So therefore we never ever risk any more than 2%. So if you've got a 4,000 account, $80 risk, $1,020. And today we're going to be looking at some trades. The, the, the trades I took are on a $700 account, um, which is what we call an eight tick Renko, which I'll show you in a moment. 
and a couple of things which are very important. So I've cut some of this out so you don't get all the secret sauce, but uh, here we're focused on in today's session, which is during the Globex session and eight tick Renko. So the three timeframes it will generally trade with if we're using our Renko charts besides tick are eight tick, 12 and 16. So 16 tick, we're going to be trading during the New York session. Sometimes you'll get away with the 12 tick uh, and really after hours, the Globex session, which offers some great trading, the eight tick. In actual fact, if we look at the eight tick right now, so I'm recording this, what time is it here right now? This is um, uh, USA time, by the way, Central Standard. This is at 22.38 uh, and this is the eight tick uh, Renko. So what you'll see here is that, um, you know, 34 Bs, 2 Bs, 34 Bs, uh, that is what we call a bet the farm trade. Uh, there you had a 2B, a 2B. Uh, these are all very mechanical trades, beautiful little uh, double bottom. And if we look at that for an example, let me just do this. Uh, that's probably a double bottom with great divergence. Let's have a look here. Uh, has it got great divergence? Maybe, maybe not. Oh yes, it's got great divergence. Uh, you can see see the MACD kicking up. However, traders and see that there to there. So that's what we call a typical uh, divergence trade. However, traders, for some reason, traders really focus so much on trying to pick tops and bottoms where they'd actually kill it if they traded with the trend. So you really want to stay with the trend. Now. Uh, and after hours, a Globex session is a great time for a new trader to actually cut their teeth. It really is. Now back to this, because I don't want to get digressed too much. I love trading, so I'll get all, all excited. So we're looking at the eight tick. Now the advantage of the eight tick traders is we only need a $700 account. And even if you've got five, 10 or $20,000, this can be a great spot to start, to cut your teeth, to build your confidence and your competence. Now, with that being said, if you've got 4,000 or more, you can start trading say the ES or, and I'm sorry, all of a sudden my neighbors decide to start mowing their lawns. So hopefully it, uh, this doesn't uh, come across here on the speaker here. So I might just pause this for a moment. Sorry about that, De neighbor decided to start the whippersnipper. Anyway, what I was about to say is if you've got a target of say 300 a day, which is very reasonable on say the ES or the uh, NQ uh, or, or even uh, CL, here we can see here, we've got the potential of getting up to 10,000 a week within eight weeks. The best way to start is starting with your trend trades because on the big contracts, this is very achievable. However, what if you decide and uh, we decide together or you decide to start with a smaller account. So if you start off with 700 to $1,000, uh, say 1,000 and you're going for 50 a day, you've got the potential of going from 50 a day to 2,000 a day within 18 weeks. Now, if you start with a $700 micro account, a smaller account, you can get there in 13 weeks. However, the big however, is that with the smaller account, you need to have a smaller stop. And so that gets really quite difficult later on in the day or during the New York session. So realistically, unless you're trading the Globex session, you get home say in New York and you decide to trade in the evening or if you're in Southeast Asia and you're trading during the day, the 700 account is, is, is uh, really ideal. However, not during the New York hours. I just wanted to mention that. Now, the bottom line is, if you trade a higher time frame, say a 12 tick, you need a $1,000 account. You're the, up there at your 10 grand a week, potentially within 18 weeks. If you start off with a smaller account and you can trade after hours, okay, you can do that in 13 weeks. And one of the and the reason you you can have a smaller account is you've got a smaller stop loss. Okay, so in what, or what my target is, is to get 50 a day in the room to show the members how to achieve 50 to 500 a day. 500 on the big contract per contract, 50 a day on the micro. Now, if we're scalping, 
or day trading on the micro uh, and you're trading say the eight tick Renko, that's four net trades a day. Now, I want you to remember two traders that all the tools that we've got for you when it comes to which are the best markets for you to trade, what capital requirements do you need, staying within your 2% rule, et cetera. These are all very, very important tools. Then on top of that, this is where then we then start to consider how many trades a day on a 75, 65, 85% win-loss ratio do you need to actually win to achieve your 50? Oh, that's on the micro. Remember a micro is 10% of the value. So that's the equivalent of $500. So there you need to execute on average, if you're trading the big contract, five trades a day to hit your 500 a day on a 75% win-loss ratio. So the big question is, which is the trade that will allow me to do that? Well, there's two of them the 34Bs and the 2Bs, both trend following strategies. Now, what you'll notice as a reminder, or if you're not familiar with my videos, you'll see I have three charts up, an entry chart, an anchor chart one, an anchor chart two. Now, if you're brand new to trading or if trading hasn't been kind to you or you feel overwhelmed, you start off just with two charts, okay? And you build from there. Now, I pretty much mentioned that it's very important that you keep it simple. Any fool can make something look complicated or make it complicated. So it's very important and there's a, a medical term or a scientific term now, it's called decision fatigue. It's where the more things you've got to read uh, on the charts or in anything in life in general, it, you become exhausted, you become, it's called decision fatigue. It's also known slightly different as ego depletion, not the ego as in, hey, he's got a big ego but there is a concept called ego depletion. And this comes down to the science of learning as well. So the 34B and the 2B, and as I say here, once you own them, you add another. Now, with that being said, some of the best traders I know of, and people like Linda Rashke and some of the other famous traders, is they'll quite often, and some of the best we know of, only trade one or two setups or one or two styles of trading. But one thing you must learn to do to master the art of trading in the shortest possible time traders is to trade in the direction of the high time frame. So what we're looking for is a retracement on the lower time frame and back in the direction of the high time frame. And this is where at times we'll get divergence. Now, with that being said, traders, you've also got to treat this as a 90 to 180 day internship. I would love to say, look, you're going to have this down in seven days and, and making a fortune, but it's just not true. You can get rich slowly in this business. It's very hard to get rich quickly, but seriously, over a number of months, you can do very, very well and set yourself up for life uh, with your trading. Now, I mentioned your 34 Bs and two Bs. Now, just on this chart here, see the white candle, that's called my super scalp. And now remember, all of my indicators uh, come with my program, they're all included. And so if you're a pure price action trader, if you, if you want it, you can get rid of the MACD and the stochastics down the bottom. However, slingshots or short-term stochastic hooks are a great solid trend following strategy. Okay, your ABCs and your 2Bs and your 34Bs and your double tops are an incredible strategy. In fact, if we look at this very quickly before we go to the live trades, now this is the market open just over here traders. Okay, so the market's been open, what, about four or five hours now. And, and this is, um, by the way, it's Sunday night in the US. Okay, so these are the waves we've had. Okay, now when we start to see the market go sideways, and this is very easy to identify, this is what we call the long-term stochastic, we sit on the fence. Okay, when we see the 200 EMA is flat, what we're looking for traders, and see how flat it is now, but now we're starting to make lower highs and it takes off. Simple things that once you understand the rules and this are easy to identify, and this is where you make the money then. 
Okay, and see the gold EMA, we call it follow the gold because that will keep you on the right side of the market. So enough with this being said traders. So let's go to the live charts. Now before trades, look, we've cut it back fairly because as I said, it's from uh, the live um, uh, trading coaching room. And in, in our live uh, trading room, we just don't trade. It's also about teaching the members. Uh, how to actually, what to look for. I'm teaching them step-by-step, step, a step-by-step step process. So traders, uh, as we go to the live trades, uh, enjoy. I've sold this on the basis traders that my long-term stochastic is coming down. Okay, uh, on my, now the, the only, let me just say this though, we are at the pivot there. Okay, so we are at the pivot. So, uh, I do have major divergence here on the anchor chart too, as we can see. Now, I won't give away much here because see what's coming down of a 21. So let me do this. I'm going to uh, bring my stop straight right down pretty fairly tight, okay? Because it, it's not a golden signal, okay? So here when moving down, now my target would be where? As we know, our target will be the 200 EMA here. So see, we're coming down. Now coming down close to the, uh, to, now see how we've hit the 200. Now I'm hopefully I punch through a little, look over here. Notice on your, there we are, we hit the target. Notice on your anchor chart, we've got the 89 below and we've got the 34 EMA below. So now we're coming down. Now let's see if we get a bit of a bounce around the low of this channel. Here we are, we're bouncing. Now that also coincides with the 89 EMA. Now, if you're wondering what these black horizontal lines are, does this give me room to the 89 on the anchor chart? Um, let me just cancel this trade. On the anchor chart one. It would give me probably 40, 60, 80 dollars on the big contract. Okay, so what I would do is, is uh, because I've got it automatically on my dome to to go to for its 28 ticks, which would put me way down here. Here we go again. So I'll show you what I will do. Now see this here. Oops. Now don't you run away. Now I'm going to bring this back up. Let, let my order sit there. But I want to show you how I met. Now see this here. So what I'm going to do is bring my order up. Now down here, that's at 18. Now, so see there, I've got way, potentially way down here, which is also the lower part of the channel. With that being said, we could also easily bounce off this uh, 200 EMA. That channel there, the low, is basically right at that point there, okay? So let's see if we can get through. Okay, now here, I would not be surprised, and look, we've got a seven by eight channel heading down, but we could easily bounce at this uh, 89, sorry, at the 200 EMA, but hopefully we can make it down to the 89 here. Now that's at um, 1890. So what I'll do is just bring that up a little, just to there, okay? So we're getting closer, getting closer. Come on, we're nearly at break even here, traders. I'll bring it down to there, either way. So now it's a risk-free trade. Notice here, we're basically almost at this low. Now we could easily bounce here though. I'm gonna lock a little more in. And the reason being, we've still come down and our 200 EMA is flat. I'm not gonna give anything back here. Just lock a little more in. Look at this here, you've still got blue sky down to your th uh, 34 EMA. Now that's a 2B short. Why is that a 2B short? 
Well, you can see there we've bounced off the 34 temporarily, at least um, at the moment. Uh, we bounced off, see the downtrending 34 EMA, see the downtrending 21 EMA. So what we've got there is a 2B. We're bouncing off the downtrending 21 EMA. Now, let's just talk target. So down here, we've got uh, at 0524 is the 200. Now I've got this at uh, 0450. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just leave it there and see if we get a punch through slightly through, if we make it that low, through the 200. Now quite often we'll get a bounce, or in this case you can see there we bounced just before the 200 EMA. Now I've got it set up that I'll automatically go to break even at plus five steps, 20 ticks. Also, we've got to get past this lower channel again. We've got more um, say here. Well, that when I say more, so you've once again we've we're in a downtrend here, obviously. Now I want you to notice the short-term stochastic hook just there. Let me just get back and make sure we manage this properly. <clears throat> Just got to watch this here. We don't get a bounce to the long side still. Okay, so our target is down here at the 200 and at the 80. Both of these are targets here because they are price magnets. Now, I won't give anything back on this because I could easily also get a bounce off this lower channel. I'll just see what happens here. Hmm. I'm sort of I'm caught on this one. Ah, uh, you bloody thing. Sorry, everyone. Uh, reason I won't give anything back. Come on, keep going for me. Uh, just because we can actually bounce. Come on, that's it. That's better. Come on, get down here. See this. We want to get down here, get past this lower channel. Because lower channels, of course, can offer support and resistance. Now, here we want to get down here. Now, I haven't lifted my stop yet. If I wanted to front, front run, I would go up to, oh, let me just show you what we do. Uh, okay, so what I've done here, I'm at 205.50. It's guesstimated this is going to come down to around 205.25. So what I've got here, traders, is my target to cover the trade is one tick above this uh, 200 EMA. Now we've, once again, I'm pretty confident we're probably gonna punch through this because I've still got the 89 down here at 02, and this is at 05. Now on the big contract, so okay, so we're filled on that target, but what I was gonna say is, and we did punch through as you can see, slightly, but notice we're bouncing. Now on the big contract, psychologically, if you're trading five lots, okay, $100, if it's five, $600 we're talking about down to there. So it, it, it plays on your mind. You, you don't wanna give back three or $400 on a trade if you bounce short of that. So yes, it punched through by a few ticks, but as you can see, we're easily filled and um, uh, we had that cash register in. So you can see there, we took a little loss on this one. So we've had, what's that? Four winners, one loss, whatever it is. Now this one here, uh, that should have been a winner for us, not that loss. If I had to put that sell stop in, just below like I did here, where I put that sell stop, that's what I should have done. Now note here, we're at this lower channel. 
we're also at the 200 EMA just here okay so here's what we consider um, what we could have set up here now is what we call a t12 a t12 is where you bounce off the 200 notice a little bit of divergence uh, now just there see that there the, what we've got right there is a 7 by 8 again see the two the 89 over here that would be my target here let's see if we come down I'll explain that entry in a moment it's the same as that one over here for this particular market whoops uh, sorry let me just redo that okay so that's um for trading the micro here you need $1,900 to do it properly okay per contract you go for 50 now we can see here to get to 10 grand a week just trading micros it would take me 34 weeks to be earning 10 grand a week now and there it says I'm trading 41 micros in fact you wouldn't be you'd be trading four big contracts because over here as soon as your account built to 19,000 which is remember the micro is 10% of the value of a big contract so we're here it says 1900 on the big contract I need 19 thousand per contract now as soon as I then get to 19,000 I can then jump over and start trading the big one that makes it a hell of a lot easier by the way to get to your 500 a day because remember that means then you're earning 500 a day per contract how do we do that well here we've been missing trades left right and center we're up $31 which would be 310 and we're not focused on our trading okay there's a little stop out we should have been on that one we have that one here short so a ton of them so this is where taking your two B's and your seven by eights you would just in that one alone you'd be up over a thousand dollars on a big contract if you waited for your two candle reversals now let me declare this I'm terrible I'm, I'm more of a scalper and I'll get out with my five to seven to eight steps okay um, I'm a Marty Swartz okay I like to relate to him where he said he still hasn't got it right when it comes to going for his runners okay traders so uh, it is time for me to um, uh, go and chill for a half an hour before I go and as we say down under hit the hay get some sleep before tomorrow morning's coaching session so we covered a great deal so some good trades there but I think um, hopefully you can just see how effective those two B's and the um, seven by eights can be oh thank you thanks very much William okay traders um, you're welcome everyone uh, good on you David and uh, John thanks mate I'll see you all in the morning everyone rest well have a great day uh, just watch the CPI yep you're welcome Chris what's that CPI <laughs> cheers traders thanks Arthur bye